welcome back guys to the channel uh, today we're going to be working on the slate cylinder and the master clutch cylinder right now i'm removing the reservoir which uh, as you guys probably already know that's one of the reasons why the slave or the master clutch go out and it's because it's dirty and that needs to be cleaned out. Now you can clean it up if you want, or you can get another one. But I thought it was going to be e easy to clean it out, so that's why I'm removing it. Right now I'm taking the fluid out of it. I took a like like a, 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 a round screen that has on the inside. You have to remove that in order to remove the, the fluid that is in there. Right now I'm working on removing the hoses there is a sensor connected on the side you can't miss it it's, it's just right there right now i'm taking the hoses there's three hoses that you need to remove uh, for that i will suggest to you to use a long pliers like a really long ones <laughs> it will make your life much easier so right now it's Taking me some time, I'm probably trying to find something. Oh yeah, I'm putting a rack in the bottom. There you go. <laughs> it was probably already spilling some fluid, but not that much. That's also important. You guys should have a, a rack ready because there's still fluid in there. But um yeah. Just have some have patience and remove that. This is fast forward, so I'm not actually going this crazy. <laughs> it's just so you guys don't get bored and watching me taking that reservoir for like twenty minutes or so. <laughs> you have to remove a ten millimeter also that is holding it, which you guys saw it, that I was using the impact gun. To remove that that will give you more room to work and just get it out of the way try not to spill much put the rock in the metal to catch any fluid and it's ready to be clean okay right there i was showing how dirty it was and this is what it looks like after it's clean that's the sensor that I'm telling you that you need to remove. It's pretty easy. It has a clip on the side. Just press it and take it out. And so you pour some um, cleaner, like a degreaser, and then you shake it like that, and then you drop it. That's how I did it. I use also like a tiny brush to get it, the parts in the bottom, and they turn out really nice, as you guys can see. All right, so over here, we're putting everything back. Uh, it's just the same procedure, I just took it out. Put the bottom holes first, and then the ones on the side. Don't forget to plug the sensor also. Take your time. Don't break any of those hoses, because you're gonna have to replace them, and it's not fun. So right there, I'm just connecting them, making sure they all go nice in place. I might spit, spit this up a little bit. But yeah, that's... I really suggest you to clean that uh, reservoir. Like, if you're gonna put new parts like the slave cylinder and the clutch master cylinder, either buy a new one if it's not too dirty, yours, or clean it up like really through, get it all cleaned up. That's gonna be, that's gonna de determine whether your parts are gonna last long or they're not gonna last long. So, yeah, that's my recommendation right there. Right there, I'm trying to see what I'm missing. It's 
putting everything back. That's the 10 millimeter that I took out. Now I'm putting it in. There was a lot of noise that day. That's why I decided to pre-record the boys. So, yeah, I'm going with the 10 millimeter and the impact gun. Dewalt. So right now I'm putting that uh, chill that I was telling you guys that goes in there that traps in the dirt. That's the one that I was trying to get out. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. I'm putting it back. Okay, so moving forward, we have the special tool. It's the size 10 millimeter to remove the hard line from the slave cylinder. That's what we're doing right now. I, uh, oh, right there, I lost the tool. I got it back. Keep working on that hard line. It, was, it took a little while. To get the hard line out you always want to put some racks or a paper towel on the underneath so you can catch any fluid and you won't spill all over and damage your parts or the paint on the engine bay same thing when you are removing the uh, reservoir you want to protect the paint it's this the brake fluid is it's really corrosive and it will damage the paint. So right now I'm removing that line which took me a little long time. That's why it's going. The, the video is going a little faster because it, it was taking a long time. So I remove that. Now it's loose, as you guys can see. I'm gonna be removing that 12 millimeter that's holding the hard line. And then I'm gonna proceed to remove the other two 12 millimeters on the side. The O2 sensor was on the way. Didn't want it to remove it. That's one right there, the 12 millimeter. Using that. 12 millimeter socket with a ratchet. Taking them out. There it goes. It's coming out. to get it out okay it's finally out so now we're gonna be installing the new one it has that cap right there to remove it I'm just showing the new one right there so now it comes the installation is basically everything in the reverse order um, I have done it on Hondas before but this is my first time doing it on a Cyan TC so I'm trying to see how is the best way to install it got it right or maybe not so basically the same way that you took it out before you took it out analyze the part and make sure that you put it in the same way that you, you took it out so you gotta press that uh, that rubber piece you gotta 
press it in with the with the fork. It's only one way that you can put it in, so you will know what I'm talking about when you reinstall it. There you go, and there's one bolt just to hold it in place. There, there goes the other one. I will highly suggest you to tighten it by hand first so you will know that you're already ripping some uh, threads and now you can continue with the tool you gotta tie This was kind of the hard part to place the hard line back to the slave cylinder. Uh, you gotta try to line it up in the hole and then tighten it by hand. And I believe if you put the the bracket on with the 12 millimeters, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I think that help you helps you to get it completely tight and it won't move out of the, the hole. Use that, use that special tool so you won't, won't damage the hard line. There you go, putting it tight now. But it was, it was a little hard to get it in. Those hard lines are not really that great. I'm just getting it tied now. There you go. It's ready. I'm gonna tie the the tall minimum one. Just holding the bracket. Oh, that house is on the way too. Didn't want it to remove it. It's, that means that I'm gonna have to mess with the radio. Okay, oh, you know want that? Oh, there you go. It's all done. Now we're gonna put some fluid. I believe it's dot three, but dot three or dot four will work just fine. This is a mix of three and four. Just go little by little until you get it all fill, all filled up. If you go past the the line, the full line, it doesn't matter because you're gonna bleed it anyways. what I'm doing right now. Always try to use clean fluid. Don't put dirt, dirty fluid on it. It's not gonna be good. And there were, the reservoir is already clean, so you want clean fluid. Anyways, okay, I'm putting it back on. My glove is all torn. <laughs> this is a really great tool. I will suggest you guys to get it, to bleed any system. Make sure, you, make sure that you have some fluid in there already so it won't you won't get any air inside that was an eight millimeter that i'm going to be using it's just to open the the valve right there i'm opening the valve to get the air out and the tool is already connected and right now i'm gonna attempt to bleed it I also have an, uh, help from, from a friend. He was bleeding and I was opening it and closing it, opening it and closing it. But we already know that this method didn't work. We still gotta replace the master clutch cylinder because this didn't work. But I wanted to try this first to see if, if I can fix the problem just by replacing the slave cylinder but it didn't do anything. At least now we we have a clean reservoir and a new slave cylinder. But yeah, you guys can see the fluid is going through the hose. It's going up, but it didn't do anything. 
unfortunately but if you guys are asking just by replacing the slave cylinder will fix the problem in your case my in my case didn't so I still, I still gotta do that the clutch master cylinder That's about it for part one. This is gonna be a part one. Uh, part two is coming out soon, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um, didn't add it the whole thing in one video because it was gonna be really long. There's a lot of things that I did on part two that I'm gonna show you guys, and uh, it's gonna be a step-by-step -step process, basically. Just kind of like this one right here. I did I'm kind of trying to bleed the system it didn't work at all as you guys will know later on in the video but yeah so stay tuned for the next one and see you guys on the next one bye for now